Yo, yo, YouTubers, what is up? Welcome to another video review. I did not do an unboxing for this because it's a pain in the butt to unbox this, and it's really only two pieces, both the Venom and then the tongue is a magnet inside, strong magnet. Uh, and so here he is in all his glory, Venom Bust by Sideshow Collectibles. It completes this room. I will do a room tour here this weekend, but I wanted to give a quick video review of this absolute beast of a statue. So I compared it over to my ECC bust that I have, the blade. Uh, you know, I've been looking at it for several minutes now, really gazing the detail, the sculpt, the paint. And this is now my second favorite bust next to my ECC blade. This thing is beautiful. In my opinion, this is 100% the best bust side she's ever made. It is glorious. I absolutely love the design of Venom on this. It's my favorite design. This is the ideal Venom look for me. I much prefer this look versus the Prime 1 Venom or XM Venom, Comic Cat Venom. This one combined with that 1 fourth just looks so beautiful together. You can see how awesome they look. So in this uh, Stuva, I have the Blu-ray. Sideshow included a little art print right there of basically the bust. I got a custom metal plate uh, symbiote, uh, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, right here, I got, I'd say, got this IMAX poster right there from uh, seeing the movie, and then the Beast Incarnate, the bus. So this stands about 26, 28 inches tall, if I remember correctly. I have not measured it, but fits perfectly fine in a Stuva. Uh, it fit in a best as well. There's plenty of space. So let's check it out. I love the look of the eyes. They nailed it just like the proto where it has like almost little black spots. So you can see. Yeah, the eyes look really good. I love the look of the eyes. They almost look, you know, very cool. I love it. You know, on the one fourth, uh, just a little shading, not nearly as good as this bus is, but definitely takes it to another level. The sculpt is excellent. See, there's different shades of blue and black and muscular detail. Look at all that detail. And then there's the spider symbol as well as on the back. Then there's the drool effect. The teeth look really good. You can see the drool on them, on the tongue. Look at that drool. I would say it's not nearly as drooly as the actual prototype, but it's good enough for a production, for sure. You know, Venom's all about that cool looking face, the big tongue. Tongue looks great in my opinion. The teeth look good. You know, there's different shading of like yellow and brown. Tons of different teeth. He's super buff. Look at all that detail right there, it's insane. Underbase is good, could be better, but this is like the new Marvel underbase theme they're going on. So if you're collecting all their Marvel busts, they all have the same, uh, you know, underbase. Here he is, absolutely amazing, love it. Let's go ahead and turn him to his side so you can see. I wanna show you the back part. So here it is spider symbol which looks awesome look at all those like veins coming up you can see the blue in them almost purplish paint jobs nice and clean mine was a little dusty so i had to basically dust him when i got him out but i am extremely happy with this if you look at it here in the collection, it looks perfect. The missing piece definitely stands out when you look at this wall. You're going to notice that venom. So, I would say for a production piece, this is extremely good. And this was made very quickly, surprisingly. You know, this one on pre order, I think, just October, November last year, and it's already shipping here now in July. That is quite impressive. They definitely did a quick production on this. I'd say it's about 90% to the prototype. Just doing a size comparison. A 
looks really good next to the Sideshow uh, Venom PF for sure. So if you have the Sideshow Venom PF, I feel like this bust is a must have. You know, so I made the decision on whether to get this bust or the Prime One Venom, you know, which I did review if you check out my channel. Now, they're two completely different things. Prime One Venom is overall a bigger piece, comes with multiple heads, it's a full body. Although I do feel like the body shape is a little awkward and maybe a little misproportioned, especially on the lower half. But seeing this in person, I do like this more than Prime One Venom. To each his own though. So I'm happy I went this route, easier to display. I like the look of the Venom. Plus I've, ever since I started collecting, I've always wanted a Venom bust, always. You know, I remember the original Sideshow one, it was just like a head though. It wasn't very big. I like the look and design of it. But when Sideshow showed this off at Comic-Con last year in New York, oh, it blew me away. I knew it was a must have for my collection. And here it is. Super happy to have this. Looks so good. Boom. I'm gonna go watch the Venom movie now. Really can't get much better than this. So I am gonna be getting a few small pieces here soon. Uh, the next big piece is gonna be uh, a custom statue, so watch out for that. That'll arrive probably in a few weeks, maybe end of the month. You know, this was really the big week for me where I got, you know, like five pieces. I'm gonna get uh, Nebula 1 by Iron Studios. And I believe that's it. Next statue would be a few weeks from now. August will be a decent month, not as good as this month. But, you know, as you can see, I am running out of space. I mean, this room, there's no space. This room's done. So, most of the new stuff I'm getting is really gonna go in my main room and a few pieces, uh, you know, Dragon Ball Z statues. Outside of that, uh, this collection is nearing its completion. So I'll be very happy once I've completed my collection, got every piece I've wanted, and I can finally retire. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm going to stare at Venom here for a while, then go watch the movie. Uh, hope you all enjoyed uh, this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.